Hello to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slippers. How are y'all today? So our girl has done two uploads, one on Tuesday, one today, which is Thursday, March 14, 2024. So guys, I know some of you that don't know me um, on my other platforms and things thinks that this is me in the photo. It, it is not. It is definitely AI generated and it is definitely a random suburbanite. <laughs> That I just chose and put up there. She's beautiful. I mean, a girl could wish, huh? But no, that is not me. Um, it's just a, a stock photo. Because I was trying to find something to use, right? And I don't want me on it. I want, a, well, originally I wanted a cartoon character. But then I didn't find one. But you know what? Mama, who she, I, okay. So if you don't know, Mama Who has a, uh, what is it called? I think it's an Etsy shop and she sells digital, um, her digital work that she's done. And I purchased a few. Um, sometimes I put them in my, in the beginning of my, what are they, what is it called? Oh, my videos, if I edit them or whatnot, which I won't be editing in this, so you won't see it. But I might change the photo to that. I was like, man, I don't have a cartoon. I need a cartoon. And I want a cartoon. Didn't have one. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and go ahead and get into what y'all came here for, girl. Because y'all didn't come here to listen to me talk. Well, yes, you did. But talk about <laughs> Mrs. Rodriguez's um, videos. So here we go. Let me go ahead and cure up. So we're going to start with Easter Bunny Hunt at Walmart and Michael's Day in My Life. All right, here we go. Word on the street is that they have big bunnies. All right, I fell victim to another TikTok shop item here. Look where we are. You guys hold the phone at this one. I do feel like it's kind of... Um, like a little old ladyish, but like I like it. I'm a little bit ashamed to tell you guys this. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I was about to make myself breakfast and I'm like, let's start a new vlog. You guys know I've had an absolute obsession lately with yogurt bowls and the Driscoll's sweetest batch of blueberries. I love them. So let's make a yogurt bowl. It's pretty simple, it's pretty delicious, and it keeps me full for a very long time. I feel like you should be able to see the yogurt. I'm gonna be trying a new kind of granola that I got from Whole Foods. It was in a box, which is it's not so it normally comes in like a bag. Hmm. No! Okay, it's just- Alex, why? Huh? Why, why are you taste testing? Because we already know that your big ass, if the silverback didn't like it, it wouldn't be in your little cute little container that you got there. Stop it with the bullshit, Alex. Alex, girl, cut it out, okay? We're not here for that, all right? You know and we know that your big ass already loved that fucking granola, okay? So miss us with the bullshit. It's a 365 brand. I like it. So on yes, the do. agenda today, we're going to go to Michael's because word on the street is that they have big bunnies <laughs> that we could put on the porch. Who knows? I mean, they might have big bunnies, but I'm looking at a big ass fucking silverback right the hell now. Just look at you. Look at you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, man. We'll see, but I haven't been to Michael's in a minute, and I I like love Michael's. I have grown to love Michael's over the last year or so. Don't sleep on Michael's. They have some of the cutest decor, and I'm also contemplating making like a DIY one. wreath because I saw Two. one um, that I, I really liked, but it was like $150, and I was like, I feel like oh. I could make this. We'll see if they have the stuff there to make it. Do y'all see why her back is still so goddamn wide? Do you see? You see, okay, that wasn't everyone else's portion, okay? 
This was her big ass portion, all right? She shouldn't even be able to eat that much at one time. And she's still about to add some fucking oversized, pumped up with hormones, blueberries, and looks like she got some chia seeds right there. And she's going to add some granola and some fucking honey. Uh, man, if y'all could see the way I'm like punching at the air right now. Alex, listen, she makes you want to punch at the air. <laughs> just swing it, just wop, 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 wop. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but worth a shot. I'm putting all these blueberries. <laughs> We know. I'm putting them all. I love blueberries. And we'll do a nice little helping of chia seeds. A little bit. Deep no. Yes. Delightful. So it's like crunchy. It's sweet. It's. Are y'all around here pouring this much goddamn chia seeds into your yogurt? I... That's why your back's still big. See, I'm just trying to help you get out of the silver back, you know what I'm saying, community. And come on down here with me into the plus size community. And then we're going to work for the plus size community and get our ass out of the fat girl section all together is what we're going to do. Alex, girl, I'm sitting up here looking at you from the chest down. And as the, as wide as you are in this shot, I, I, I just like, I can't believe it. Okay, girl. I know that y'all ain't over there trying to snuggle up with that baby. Even though I'm sure he wanna snuggle cause it's cuffing season. It's cuffing season, but he can't cuff you because he can't fit his arms around your silver back. Got everything you need and then a little drizzle. Shut Honey, up. and there she is. She's quick. She's delish. 10 out of 10. Sure. A few minutes later. So I've just been sitting here minding my business, eating my yogurt bowl. The dog is going absolutely nuts. Are you playing with your no, toys? No, no, I'm going absolutely nuts because you're sitting up here. Instead of just eating normal, your fat ass can't wait for the spoon to get all the way in your mouth. So you're around here clamping down on the spoon. Who the hell is doing that? Who the hell is putting a spoon in their mouth, biting the spoon, and then just letting it scrape out of their mouth like that? Girl, stop. Stop. Alex, people are watching. Okay? And again, chin choppage. You already know you got about three of them motherfuckers. Okay? <laughs> you ain't got to chop it off, bitch. I got me one, too. But guess what? I ain't chopping that bitch off. Y'all go to my vlog channel. You just gonna get all of this. All of it. You're getting all of it, okay? Champ, poopa. Okay? Okay, but that ass is fat, but then, let me tell you something. <laughs> In my community, the men folk, they like, they like a woman with, with a fat ass. So, mother is around here trying to keep that ass fat, okay? But you can have this waist. Okay, and these big ass shoulders I got, but baby, I'm working on it. Whatever, this ain't about me. This is about Alex and her cutting off her goddamn chin. Like we don't know that they motherfucking them. So now he's gonna stop. I'm just been sitting here and I just hear like, rah, 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 and he's doing zoomies and he's whipping things around. <laughs> but the second, the second I even give him. So basically, he's doing, he's being a dog. He's doing what dogs do, you dumb nut. Any attention about it, he'll stop. <laughs> you done? Are you done, Buana? That's it. Does anyone else's dog do that? He'll get like these big bursts of morning plays and zoomies, which I love. It's so cute. But then if you like kind of watch them or like try to take a picture of them or something, they're just like, forget it. All right, I fell victim to another... <laughs> TikTok shop item here, oh. but it had a coupon and it was like such a good price. It's supposed to be a Lululemon dupe. I love this color. I don't have a sweatshirt in this color. Of course let's not. Let's try it on. Let's see. Let's see. It went up to a 3X. So I got the 3X because I'm like, I don't know. Okay. It's actually pretty cute. I like it. I don't feel like this is a good 3X. This is very much giving like 2x but i do think it fits well it's got the little pocket here 
It's not giving 2X, ma'am. It's giving 3X, and it fits that back. <laughs> okay. Alex, stop trying to make 2X happen. It's just not happening. Okay. We found that out in your last little haul. All right. What you did with your little dresses or whatnot. Okay. You cannot get your big ass into a 2X. And I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Okay. I'm trying to figure it out. It does have the thumb holes, which is very, very lulu -y. I do like it though. And I like where it sits with like a high-waisted pant comfortably. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. If you're on TikTok, you probably see them all the time. Like, Lululemon dupe. Yeah. And they target people like me because here I am. I mean, it's a lot cheaper, but it's cute. We'll wear it. Just did my skincare. Time for deodorant. I showed this in the last vlog. I have been loving the wild deodorant. You guys know I've been on the hunt for a good aluminum free deodorant and oh, this yeah, is my favorite it has all safe natural ingredients no no you fucking lie you ain't never told us that you were on the hunt for no goddamn deodorant bitch and guess what else i'm not gonna do listen to you spew that goddamn um product because you got me fucked up <laughs> not listening to that shit girl fuck you and them i definitely ain't gonna watch your ass do no goddamn makeup either Fuck that. All right, we at Michael. Oh, shit. So the wreath that I had mentioned to you guys, it's like got dried orange or and or lemon, citrus, all that slices on it. So if they have that and then like a wreath, I think, God, I think I still have a hot glue gun. I should have checked first. I could buy one here and then return it if I do have it at home. But we'll see. More than anything, I'm looking for the big bunnies. <laughs> for my porch okay so let's go uh, uh let's go see i think becoming 30 has changed me this is like the new mall for me the craft wow. store oh no it looks empty oh no this stuff was here last time it is really pretty though these easter baskets are so cute oh my gosh i cannot wait i cannot wait for easter basket days all right so they have like nothing over here maybe in the other section we'll see i told you guys we were hosting easter this year imagine if i like made all the adults do like an egg hunt <laughs> i should do it there's some cute stuff that could go on a wreath but i'm looking for the dried slices this is really pretty lots of cute things you could make oh here's some easter i love that oh, look at all this pretty spring color oh wait maybe those are the bunnies those might be the bunnies, but I don't like the color. I do like these eggs. <laughs> so, <laughs> she didn't like the, the eggs, the eggs, the Easter bunnies that were had color. One of them was pink, the other one yellow. You know, she doesn't like the ones with color, but what she does love is this bland ass white ass egg. Y'all, what in the i can't see i'm blind is alex just like doesn't want to see color see if i don't see color was a person <laughs> it's given very much i'm whitewashed <laughs> it's given very much i'm bland <laughs> holy shit! like girl i hope you don't suck the color and fun and life out of your children when you do have them, fucking insane, man. Easter is about the bright, fun colors. Everyone knows that. Oh, it lights up too. These are really cute. They're not as big as I was hoping for though, but they have a lot of really cute um, spring stuff you could like make on your own. Oh my God, stop. Look at this. <gasps> Easter bunny nutcracker you could paint. That's so adorable. You could paint these too. But I wasn't quite feeling confident enough to do that on my own. This is really pretty. Oh, that's I had you know. Oh, okay. I found a big Easter section. Wait, why am I so in love with this? I think all of this like mossy stuff is just so pretty. Uh. Alright, y'all, not about to listen to the music because I'm not sure that I can. 
here she is just showing all the things that she sees while she is there. Yay, we saw it. All right, here we go. Oh, that hurts my chin heart. Chin so, so much cute stuff. Again, chin choppage. Look at this shit. And she has faithful viewers. I just want y'all to know that. She faithfully has viewers that some of them are ridiculous, crazy ass stands, but that's neither here nor there, baby. Look at this chin choppage. Holy shit. I don't need more home decor, but the bunnies, they only had one pink and one yellow. I think those were the popular ones, though, that I had seen. Um, they aren't heavy, though, so I would have to kind of, like, find a way to get them on the ground staying there. They had so much cute stuff. So, as you can see, I took a little footage. The music was so, so loud in there. They had these little lime and lemon slices made of plastic but i just didn't love the way that they looked i don't know i could maybe dry real ones i'm sure that's still chopping up your chin and then they only had like boxwood wreaths and i was thinking of a different type of wreath for it as well so we didn't buy anything in there i'm contemplating going to like another michael's there's also a joann's should i go to joann's i haven't been to joann's in like a million years since with like my grandmother all right, I just did a quick little Google search, guys. It looks like they might have a 40-foot one at, Am at Amazon. <laughs> at Walmart. I think they might have to go to Walmart. Since we're hosting Easter, too, I also kind of want to, like, secure, like, the paper plates and stuff like that um, before. Because, I, I mean, like, it's going to all be gone soon, especially since we're going on vacation. So, should we just go do a, do a Walmart run? All right, stop number two. Let's hope we find some big Easter bunnies. And and I'm also going to buy Easter plates for hosting and any like non perishable stuff I could get early. No! Okay, you guys, we've got Easter heaven. Let's really scope out the situ oh wait <laughs> they have these ones but they are small they are too small oh i feel like i'm like too late for bunny season <laughs> did i miss out okay but everything is adorable oh. though i am just don't sleep on walmart either <laughs> and look at these little sherpa mushrooms listen <laughs> I just won't buy a mushroom anything because back in the day, um, the Hodge twins, I don't know if y'all know these guys, but they, they still have a YouTube channel. Back in the day, they used to make like weightlifting and stuff like that. So in shape, set of twins, whatever. Um, but they used to call their man parts a shroom tip because you know, girl, if they get circumcised, girl, <laughs> it look like a mushroom. So they call it a shroom tip. So when I saw that she had picked this up, because yes, I have seen this. Um, I was like, oh my God. I, I, I like instantly thought of the Hodge twins calling their man parts shroom tips. <laughs> I'm glad I came here for this stuff. Get a couple of these. Oh, wait, wait, I like the bunnies too. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna grab the matching napkins. They do have one small bunny one, which I was gonna get for like dessert, but they only have one and eight plates is not enough. So, should I do these for dessert? No! I'm gonna grab this just no! for, you no! know, whatever. No, Alex, put it back. You can't go with shiny, elegant paper plates and napkins, and then go pick up the gaudiest, like, bunny tray. And it's blue. It's not matching the color scheme. Alex, you have hosted enough to know better than this bullshit right here. Now, this shit right here is getting on my nerves. No, put it back. Whether it's an appetizer or a dessert, I'm gonna get the bunnies for dessert. All right, we've got more of these bunnies 
but they're not the tall ones that I thought I saw online. They are super cute though. All right, I think this aisle is just for Easter baskets. I don't know if the rest of it is all just Easter basket stuff. I think it might be. Oh my God, should I get my mom this big bird? <laughs> Did anyone else like sure. love getting these big bunnies in their ba Easter baskets? Even though it's not like the most delish, it was just a staple. Okay, so I think I'm at least gonna grab the, like, like I said, stuff that will last, like doing some sort of kind of dessert charcuterie with like Eastery stuff. Like these cute little chocolate chickens. Some of these lint um, carrots. Oh, and these little bunnies. I got these last year. All right, get those. These little sea salt caramel bunnies are super cute okay we got these these regular jelly beans these springtime soft so much fun getting all of this candy for all of the people that are overweight in your family including yourself you being the biggest silverback of them all actually the other ones aren't silverbacks some of them are actually the way that they should be and some of them are you know He's a tottering on that overweight side, kind of like Greta, but she's still way smaller than you. But, and your mom is diabetic. I'm pretty sure she ain't the only one. But look at all these candy, Miss Mama. Heck, I mean, if you just must have candy. Have you ever heard of sugar free candy? They pretty much make dupes of everything that you have in your, um, cart right now like girl get it together shit off to jellies you need peeps of course i think this is going to be plenty for my family okay wait these pastel m&ms are so cute so my mom and i are going to florida soon Dad! and i haven't looked at the walmart clothes in like a really long time so maybe we'll just peruse really quick i have this from here in a different color and no! it's one of my favorite bathing suits i know you fucking mind if you do have it take it back I also love these beachy pants. Those are super cute, $20. I really like that. That's super cute. I don't have anything in that color. I also love this like tropical print and then it has this little V no! in the front. I also feel like you can never go wrong with like a little no! bright moment. I think this is just like classic summer. You guys hold the no, phone. No! Look at this one. No, 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 this no, is no. so cute. It's got like kind of a seersucker fabric and it's like a two piece connected. Oh my gosh, this is so unique. I've never seen anything like this. $26. Alex, Alex, you a fucking lie. You don't see the tank even before, bitch. You just had one in your hand. The only difference is that the one that had, you had in your hand a few seconds ago and the one that you got home, it doesn't have straps. But it's the same goddamn concept. What you mean? I've never seen anything like this before. You a goddamn lie. All those swimsuits and shit that they've sent you through the years and the one that you just said that you have at home is literally almost the exact same thing. The only thing that's different is the color and that other one is strapless. And also, bitch, you better not buy that because what the fuck? Absolutely not, Cupcake. Get your big hands off of it and keep on strolling along definitely gonna get this all right the rest of the clothing is not like really giving much especially like the plus size friendly items it's kind of hit or miss you know i do really like these pants though i no! kind of like these cargos okay our luck might be turning around there's some really cute stuff from celebrity pain no! like i really like this top here this isn't a junior so oh, definitely no. size up but i feel like i don't know i feel like i love this let's try it also grab these cargo sweats and then, like, look at this. Ew! This is so, so cute for no! spring and Easter. Actually, the quality of this feels really, really good. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I've seen this brand here before, or have I? Celebrity Pink. And they go up to a 3X. This is kind of sick. All right, doing a quick putz in the home section that has been really good for a while now. Like, even this is so cute with the pleated shade. Really? Right these bookends. That is really pretty. Ooh, and this fluted glass frame. No! I just like to show you guys what they have if you're gonna come and shop. That is super cute. All right, the last hope, I think I'm gonna take the outdoor section. And then otherwise, so we might just be 
Out of luck. I mean, everything's really pretty, but I don't think we're gonna find Easter bunnies. I've actually never been in the garden section at this Walmart. This is like the really good Walmart that I drive a little further to. And it's like so nice. I kind of want to start a garden, but I also don't trust myself. How many of you just heard me say that and you're like, Alex? don't start a garden <laughs> you guys i'm back home so i pretty much showed you everything i got from walmart um, i won't do my little candy haul but that's for easter and it's gonna be a super cute little candy charcuterie so obviously i'll vlog that day but i wanted to try on a couple of the things i got for clothing items so i ended up getting this really cute pair of cargo sweats Ugh. wide leg cargo sweats with pockets um i couldn't decide which size to get so I got the XXL and it's in the no boundaries. So I feel like that runs kind of small. So I don't know, we'll see. And then for this top from Celebrity Pink, no! I am just obsessed with this. I think this is so cute. I've been kind of eyeing stuff like this from Abercrombie, um, but this was way more affordable. And I don't know, I think it's gonna be a little bit bigger as well. So I'm not gonna try on the bathing suits because I just really don't wanna try them on right now. But I've bought Walmart bathing suits before from the brand Hell Time no. True. And also thank you from all of us for not trying on the fucking swimsuits because the last thing that we wanna see, bitch, is your fucking elephant toe. Not your camel toe, but your elephant's foot, actually. The elephant foot. We can deal without it. And if you think for one second, bitch, that you coming down here with that shit, well, you just better fucking think again. Leave that shit up there in the northeast quadrant of these United States of America. And they're always so perfect. So I did get this tropical one. I do feel like it's kind of um, like a little old ladyish, but like I like it. A little. <laughs> it's really cute with the tropical. Baby, that is not a little old ladyish. It's given, you know, when my grandma was like 72 and her and the other silver sneakers is what they call the old folks at the gym will go to do aqua aerobics. Not given a little old lady. It is old lady. Oh, oh, I have mercy. Must I have to tell you everything? Come down here with that shit tropical print and that little v in the middle like you saw so in these i get the because i bought these before uh the 2x and it's 20 to 22 so i always size up in a one piece so it's long enough and then this one's sure. also from time sure sure that's why you size up fucking liar i always size up in a one piece you know because and I needed to be long enough because you know I have a long torso. It has nothing to do with the fact that I got a big ass, wide ass back, broad shoulders, and big ass arms, and my foot put on grew back. I'm in true, and it's so freaking pretty. So I love a one piece that looks like a two piece, but it's attached, and I love how it has a different color for the top and bottom with the orange on the bottom, oh, the pink on the top. Ugh. So cute. No! So I'm definitely gonna be bringing these to Florida. No! Let's try on these cargos. I honestly love that cargo pants. Bitch, didn't I just tell you all of the clothes that you chose at Walmart today? Please leave them in the northeast quadrant of these United States of America. We do not want it down here, ma'am. Why do I have to keep telling you this? And why do you keep on insisting doing the, on doing the opposite? I'm here to help you okay <laughs> are in right now oh these are fit good at least they feel good okay so here are the cargo pants oh, 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 oh. like the waist is a little big and the then, elephant like, foot is showing good but like i would like them bad here i've got big thighs but i'm just looking in the view finder so i'm gonna have to like look in the mirror and see oh my God. how i feel about these they also had a more nude color this is kind of like a purpley nude they were only 11.98 okay this top is so cute for spring with some jeans it's got like a little bit of a peplum vibe it's like pleated right here and then it's a little bit of like a peplum vibe and then it's got nice mocking and yeah, so it's this. comfy and then i also had it in white and i feel like i literally have no words 
<laughs> you guys, <laughs> I'm going crazy. Do you see this? And Miss Mama's think that she's stunting too. She said earlier that she thought she was going to have to get that in the smaller size. Ma'am, I think not. I think not, baby. This is your size. This is your size, okay? The size is you and you are it, okay? And it's sad too because your boob area and the width of your chest and shoulders, it's like, holy crap. She had gastric bypass. What the fuck, man? Like this would be just perfect with a pair of high-waisted denim. And it's super lightweight, so nice for spring. And it also doesn't show my, my bra with the way the neckline is, which is really nice. It fits perfectly. This is the 3X. I just am in love with it. I think it is so perfect. And this was only... $14.50. So that's what I got from Walmart. So no luck with the bunnies. It's just not meant to be right now. I had seen those ones that I really liked at Home Goods the other day with my mom. I was just overwhelmed and didn't get them. And I was hoping to kind of find like a better deal somewhere else and say they, they weren't like as expensive as I've seen other places, but they weren't like cheap. So I think I'm just gonna bring up my planters from last year with my faux hydrangeas from Amazon and put those mm. out for spring and summer. Um, Cause that's what I did last year and they're still downstairs and they look great. So I might just bring those up and put them outside. All right, we're headed to ye old basement. Yeah, to ass pick up the planters. Cause, ooh. Your ass can barely fit between banister and the damn wall. Alex, and look at your chin. Oh man. I mean, the filter was trying, but the filter was like, shit, fuck it. One of these chins gonna have to show, bitch. <laughs> I guess this is the one. This is it. Whatevs. Light is bright. Because I, I'm a little bit ashamed to tell you guys this. Ugh! No. Do you guys remember the Christmas plants that we got at Lowe's? No. Woo! Back pre-vlogmas. You just wait um, one minute. Y'all gonna look at this. Did she say last Christmas? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. And what'd you do, Alex? Ooh, Lord have mercy. I'm just gonna sit here and let y'all look at it. If I have to review this shit, y'all gonna fucking look at it. You hear me? I, I need y'all, especially Alex Stans. Oh, y'all gonna look at this. Is this your queen? Hmm? Is this your skinny legend? Huh? Is this what you fight for? I'm gonna ask y'all that every time I think about it. Because what the actual fuck... Like, look at her thigh. Huh? O-M-G. But, I mean, this is what y'all be caping for. Look how big that calf is. Look how big this calf is. Are y'all fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shit, y'all need to open up y'all eyes and see, baby. Take off them rose-colored glasses. Back pre-vlogmas. Um, like the pine... Coney, real plant, real bush stick plant <laughs> arrangements. They're huge. They're, they were amazing. They are still out front. And yes, I have my bunny wreath up. My Christmas stuff is in, but those are still there. <laughs> you want to know why? Because they're super heavy. Because you're lazy. Because we usually go out the side door. And then I keep forgetting to tell Yarman I need, <laughs> I need him to get rid of them. So I'm like, and I'm also trying to figure out the best way to dispose of them because they're pretty much dead. <laughs> so I was thinking since it's mostly, uh, you know, tree branches and pine and things like that, we could put that portion like in the woods in our backyard and then throw the other parts away. I'll probably save the big planters because they're like big and I could use them for something else. Um, but yeah, <laughs> they're still there. So, you know, judge me all you want. So here oh, are right, we will. the faux mums. I need to give them a little cleanup. Next year when I put these away, I need to put them in bags. 
we're never down here for so for some reason I just think that it like won't get dusty but that's not how life works but look at how cute these are um like I said I got these on Amazon last year and I felt like I could never keep mums alive remember how earlier I was talking about starting a garden no <laughs> so um I feel like mums oh, die really quickly as well though even my grandmother and my mom who are like good with plants and have a green thumb they even said that so um you yeah, don't care what they say. and they just you can just plop them right into a planter and they are fantastic so last year for the spring i did those and then for the fall i put out these faux mums also from amazon that i just put into some uh foam so yeah we are going to do a little swap a -roo. so it's so simple you just plop them on top and these are also from uh, Amazon as well. And then I just have like filler in here, some old um, flower foam. And then I kind of just like drape this over to conceal it. And then it looks like super duper cute. So I brought these up. They look super cute. I gotta wait for Yar to <laughs> dispose. Let me show you guys. I mean, they. They don't look horrible, but like this is just not good. <laughs> like I got rid of the Christmas Ooh. doormat. I've got the bunny wreath and then it's just like Christmas. <laughs> I was like contemplating even like taking off the red parts, trying to adapt it to like a spring arrangement, but it's just, I mean, <laughs> they're dying. I mean, honestly, I've had them for like three months. So I'm pretty impressed with how long these lasted. Many hours later. Want to come up with me? Come on up, come on up, yeah. Okay, you guys, it is much later now. I am about to whip up dinner and I am going to dive into the newest two episodes of Love is Blind because so it came out days ago and I haven't watched them yet. So that is how I'm gonna spend this evening. Let me know if you guys have been watching Love is Blind. They're already like working on the cat. Not with the hooks. Even if he is at Army. FaceTime your man, bitch. <laughs> There was a time where you used to track him on his uh on, on your phone. Remember that? Are you still doing that, Alex? Alex, you still track him? But anyways, this is sad. Just gonna spend your day or evening on the couch with the dog watching Love is Blind. You need a life. Casting for the next season. There was like a TikTok about this one. A girl had said something about Alex, stay your ass off TikTok. Look at that. <laughs> ah! I got a screen. Let me get a screenshot. About one of the guys on the new season. Oh, I just <laughs> I feel like every season is just a mess. But hey, we're all, we're all here for it. So <laughs> I love you guys so much. I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. And all right. Bye. Shit. Can I go? on and on and all this bullshit <laughs> so guys hope you enjoyed that because i didn't so we're gonna move on to you guys were right now y'all know and she knows that everyone is on there today i was like uh clickbait but anyways let's see what we were right about that ugly ass jacket she got on <laughs> or the fact that her ass don't need to come down here to florida with that bull bullshit on. either way it go i'm i ain't here for it Want to know a secret? No! More than just my armpit. $60 off? And I was like, <laughs> You're coming home with me. I can't believe I didn't know about this. Okay, guys, the time has come. I just opened them. This is the best I've ever made. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. We are starting this vlog out in the car. I've got Mr. Plute here. Hi, Mr. Plute. Bernie and I decided to <laughs> ride with Yara this morning because he had to go to the doctor just to get his blood drawn. Um, so we <laughs> came with him. Uh, Yara and I are just going to grab. You went out the door? 
with that man of color, with that ugly ass jack up. You don't lost your fucking mind. Like a quick breakfast after, and then after that, I've got to go to Tesla when you're logs into work, and I'm going to take a car in because it says tire pressure monitoring system fault. I guess one of the tire pressure monitors isn't working. It hasn't been working for like a week. I was kind of hoping it would just fix itself, <laughs> but it hasn't. Really? So, gonna bring that in. I'm going to a different Tesla today. Um, and I don't know why it makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm going to a different one. So hopefully it's uh, smooth sailing. I don't know why I get like nervous going to the car place, let alone like a new car place. I'm like, hey, don't try to swindle me, all right? I don't know much about this car, but don't swindle me. <laughs> okay, guys, I have like the funniest story about this jacket. So remember how I found Idiot. the Amazon dupe for the people quilted jackets? Because like the freebie ones are expensive <laughs> as I'm wearing it. Guys, I was so excited. This weekend, we took Yara's grandma out for her birthday. We went to the mall and out to lunch. It was super nice, really fun. Um, but we were just putzing around Macy's because she wanted to go to Macy's. And all of a sudden I see a free people section and I don't ever really like think to shop at Macy's. I just, Ugh. I feel like they never have a great plus size selection in store. Like I'll shop there online sometimes. So I'm kind of just putzing around. Um, and I see these jackets and I'm just like, oh, the super cute quilted jackets. And then they have one X l this one and it's got like a special tag on it because it doesn't have the original tag it's probably like a return or something and it was 60 dollars off and i was like mm. <laughs> i know it was still a little bit pricey of course but like i'm so in love with the pattern i'll have to show you guys better when i'm like standing up but it is so freaking cute it is so freaking cute i was so excited when i found it on sale or on clearance or whatever i don't know just discounted it was so exciting so that was like a little highlight of the weekend but we've got our quilted jacket stocked up for if that's the highlight of your weekend then you need to get a life bitch fast spring which is so exciting because i just think it's the perfect jacket because it's going to be like 50 today so it's that perfect middle weather jacket slight but still a little something yeah overall we had a really nice weekend with um yars family we went to lunch on the water at this really cute restaurant that we've never been to before and they had the cutest little walkable area i definitely want to take you guys back there another time um with like yar my mom and i can vlog it because it was so freaking cute if you haven't been to we went to what it was called Wickford on the water in Rhode Island I guess maybe in Wickford I don't know <laughs> I don't even know where it was um it wasn't too too far from us but it was just like such a cute walkable area they had so many little like shops and restaurants and it was just like a vibey little main street mm. and the restaurant was kind of like just small and cozy on the water but like beautifully decorated the food was delicious uh so we just yeah we had a really good time with that today is just pretty much going to be getting getting stuff done you know blood draw Tesla. I have editing to do though, which is good. So I'll bring my computer while they're working on the car. Oh, here comes Yar. Hopefully he has better veins than I do. I have the worst veins. It's awful every time. We are twins. We have the same prescription. No. And we have both oh, have crappy no! veins. No. Y'all aren't twins because he is not a, that man of color over there. <laughs> he is not a silverback. Boom, yeah, like apparently she was saying that like my veins move as they oh they move yeah like as they try to find it so it's like they had to difficult, go so they had to go in my hand i've never had this done before that happened to me last time i hate that yeah isn't it the it worst feels different it hurts more so weird. Yep. yeah well you did it yeah. high five <laughs> yay for crappy veins his squiggle and mine are small okay you guys so as you can see if you can see it we are at joanne fabrics so the good thing is yar doesn't have any work calls so he's actually going to go into tesla and do work while they work on the car um he wants to like he wants to show them something else i don't know if i'm going to be able to properly explain it so he's going to go um so i'm back in the hyundai i haven't driven the tucson in a minute i do love this car too um, but I've just been taking the Tesla all the time. So we are at Joanne Fabrics because I posted my vlog this morning when we went to Michael's and Walmart on the hunt for like big bunnies. And there was a Joanne's next to the Michael's and I wasn't sure if I should go because I just like, I've been there with my grandma before 
but like a long time ago and I just don't remember remember what they had I remember going there to buy fabric with her to like make costumes or something um but she is talking an awful lot guys and I am awfully bored apparently they have a lot of cute home decor and spring accessories and stuff you guys said so I'm gonna go in because I still really want big easter bunnies for the porch I also really need to get something to weigh down the faux hydrangeas that I have in those planters, the tall planters, because it's been really windy and they keep falling over. So I need like weight in them. So I don't know, hopefully they'll have like a bag of rocks here or I can go, <laughs> go get them somewhere else. But uh, yeah, let's go see what Joann's has. Here we go. Oh, we've got some 50% off faux florals. Oh, little planters. I feel like I'm gonna need a cart. I don't know, maybe. Okay, wait a minute, wait. Um, <gasps> you guys oh my god i love these how much are these 50. gosh that feels like a lot i don't know but i do think like one on each side of the porch would be so cute oh my god you guys were not kidding look at this look at him laying down oh my god this is like literally the cutest thing i've ever seen 70 dollars though oh lord okay everything is really really adorable Hoppy Easter. Oh, these are cute little yard stakes. Those could be fun to plop in the ground. $30. Oh, wait. Are these... Does this pop? No. I don't know. Something's 50% off. Wait, place and time. Easter decor. Oh, oh my god. god, you guys. 50% off. If those are part of the 50% off, I'm gonna have to get them because that's not bad. Is it part of pop? Place and oh. time. Chin chop it! you're coming home with me so with 50 percent off these will both be 50 bucks which is really good and then i can put them out every year oh my gosh oh. i love these now don't you sit your ass up here and tell us what in the fuck it is you gonna do every goddamn year bitch because we know that whenever whatever holiday comes around your ass is absolutely gonna be in the store purchasing new things you want to know why because you're a consumerist. <laughs> and listen, I don't give a shit because I consume shit too. So, but I'm just saying, I don't lie to people and be like, oh, but I can reuse it. A bitch, no, I'm not. And neither are you. Okay? $50 ain't a discount to the people that are subscribed and loyal followers to you, ma'am. Since it's 50% off, I'm also just like... I don't know. A lot of this stuff is really, really darn cute. Like this carrot. I would literally just put this up as a wreath. I also love these giant eggs. You guys really do kind of want me to do a grown-up Easter egg hunt. I'm so tempted. Who told you that? I'm so tempted. Okay, I'm just going to look at the other stuff and see. Oh my god, wait. This is... Oh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, why am I in love with that? I mean, all this is 50% off, which is incredible. Every bunny, welcome. That's adorable. And then I was also looking at these. Look at this. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Are you so this kidding? This would only be $15. That's a steal. And this little jar. Egg holder. Oh, these felt. Oh, my God. Guys, I am so grateful you guys told me to come here. I am shook. The little felt wreath. Oh my god, guys. I'm so excited right now. Everything is making my heart very happy. This uh, carrot garland. Probably could have got my little plates and stuff here. I got them at Walmart, though. But they're 50% off now. And, like, this towel. They're embroidered. So cute. I think I'm going to get this garland. Um, it actually matches no! really well. And then put this up every... Who the hell told you to go buy this fugly shit? Nobody said that. Who, who's liking this? Y'all liking this shit? Let me know in the comments. Are y'all? Hey, I know the Suburbanites ain't buying this shit right here. You can make some better. Actually, my son, when he was younger, would come home from elementary school with some better uh, craft work than this shit right here. Put it back. A year for Easter, like on the fireplace. So I think that's a really really cute okay i am obsessed with this store this is like it's just it's giving michaels but kind of no! 
they're definitely going to have stuff here to do my like DIY wreath if I want to with the lemons and they have a lot of stuff on sale. Michael's usually does too but like this is pretty good you guys. They have so much greenery and wreaths. Oh I see more bunnies. I'm becoming a woman that likes chickens. <laughs> I think they're really really cute for decor honestly. I don't know why. I'm getting kind of uh countrified in my older age. No! Oh so teeny. I actually think they have even more floral options here than at Michael's. I'm like, look at this. These are like stunning. These would look so good in the urinal vase. <laughs> yeah, the next wow. one I need like florals or stems for that vase. Like they have so many interesting ones here and different options. I can't believe I didn't know about this. There is so much to look at. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm just doing like a quick little lap around to see everything else just so I can know. I don't need anything else but like just want to know what else they have for the future. You guys, how cute is the garland? <laughs> they have a lot of green and orange in here, so I just think it's like perfect. Whoa! Hell no! <laughs> hey guys, okay, so look at the left side of your screen, and you see this ridiculous white thing that she has up here. If you look down, one of the carrots is hanging like right beneath that. It looks like he's holding out his willy and going for a piss. Way to go, Alex. Way to motherfucking go. Girl, you crazy. <laughs> Who is that out there right there? Wait, what is that? Is that Bruno? Can't be. Not outside by himself. Not without Alex standing at the door with her house coat like somebody old ass, ghetto ass mammy. Standing at the door, you done? Get in there. But anyways, that's another subject. Perfect. So my little Easter decor in here is garland. And then I remember I got this at that little country store. This cute little like vintage bunny pillow. Are you eating your dental jew? You are such a good boy. I love when you use your hands. Girl, Alex, Bruno just looked at you like, bitch, get out of my goddamn face. Because the only time that you entertain me is when that camera is in your motherfucking hand. So go on. Nah, shit. Let me have my little dental chew. I in peace. Okay? I know what Bruno be thinking and what he's saying in his head because he black and I'm black too. So we relate. I know what he's thinking and what he's talking about. Bruno is absolutely a, um, a, a, a dog of color. I almost said a man of color. A male of color, a dog of color. Okay, absolutely. You're like a little person. Okay, you guys, I put the rocks in here, so it's a lot more firm. Oh, I did get rocks, by the way. So I've got my faux hydrangeas and planters from Amazon. I'll link them again. And then I don't think I've ever really seen her front porch before. Uh, nonetheless, it looks nice. I mean, the little bit that she is uh, showing looks nice. And bunny, and then over here, the carrots and the other faux hydrangea. So cute. And this wreath, it just makes my heart happy. I had to get it on sale. Um, so I just think it looks so perfect all together. All right, you guys, I had to just do a quick little clip to show you the coat. I just think it is so freaking cute. <clears throat> microphone ready microphone ready soapbox put it there let me stand on it no <laughs> alex girl no no you look like somebody's great aunt susan take it off now stat like the pattern it just looks like a quilted blanket and then it has this neckline, but sometimes I'll like flip it over. And then it doesn't have buttons. It has these little clips here, only three <laughs> of them. And then I just went ahead and cuffed the sleeve with one roll. And I just love it. I think it is so springy no! and cute. Uh -uh. So yeah, that's the jacket. Your dad is on the way home. And guess what? He got a sweet green for lunch. Sweet green, yummy. I've got my lunch and my lunch watcher. <laughs> Love the Harvest Bowl from Sweet Green. If you want a good salad, this is so freaking delicious. And I am going to watch the 
next 90 Day Fiance Tell All. I think this is the last episode, which is so crazy. I'm going to miss it. I think they're starting a happily ever after next week, though. Still loving uh -huh. the garland, but I'm so excited to eat my salad. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that they sent me these. I saw them on Instagram and they came out with like Easter spring flavors, tropical eggs, these are sour. And then these are berry bunnies. And then look at these cute little stickers. So we'll definitely try these later after dinner. I am actually gonna start dinner now because it's four o'clock, I was doing some editing and I'm gonna make some sancocho tonight. <laughs> sure you're gonna make it. Dominican, kind of like a stew. You standing out there on the stairs? Go ahead, Papa. It's so nice out. It's a very nice afternoon. Oh my gosh, it feels so good outside. It's like 55, 60. Oh! I can't wait. I can't wait for the warm weather. Go ahead, Papa. Go, go, go. Ready, go. <laughs> okay, so I completely forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer, so I am using the defrost button on our microwave. But I'm going to do chicken and steak for the meat. Got some flank steak here. So I'm gonna cut both of them up and then season it, let it marinate for a little bit um, with lime. Lord, she about to try to cook. Listen, Alex, baby, I hope that you have listened to what I have tried to tell you, okay? Don't fuck this meal up, bitch. Now, because this is your from your man of colors coach. Okay? Don't you fuck this up. Juice, Ooh, garlic, oregano, and salt. Um, I'm gonna do That's it? corn, plantains. They did not have yucca. I was so sad because I love yucca. I'm kind of just, just doing the best I can here. Shut up so and move your hand! Um, and I haven't taken out my other seasonings yet. Don't judge me. This is not perfect. Um, but I'm excited to use my new cutting board. Uh, my cutting boards are so gross. You guys have seen them. I've had them for years. So I grabbed this like acrylic. Finally! <laughs> Tara! Woohoo! Tara! Girl, come look at this. I know you're going to be happy, girl. Because you was always roasting her about that nasty-ass, dirty-ass, cut-up-ass cutting board that she had. She went and got her a new one. Okay? Shout out to Country Shade Tree for telling this bitch to go ahead and get a new goddamn cutting board. Shit. Cutting board here that kind of goes over the lip of the counter. And I've had these from when we put them on our cabinets so they don't slam against like the wall. Um, and I saved them. So I just put a couple of them in these corners so it doesn't slip around. And yeah, it's super, super cute. It was really affordable. I'll link it below, but we'll test it out, see how it is. I always see people using We didn't ask you to link shit below, bitch. <laughs> Give a fuck about what you linking? The hell? And then I just think, I don't know, they look nice. It's, and it's like a good size. And you can always leave it on the counter too if you want. See-through. All right, I've been letting the meat marinate. I'm gonna cook up all the meat and brown it first. And we basically add in the water, seasoning mix, more seasoning. I've got everything cut up here. Normally a lot more goes in, but this is what we have. Okay, so I let the meat stew for a while, then I added everything else in. Now I'm gonna let this simmer for a bit, let everything in there cook for about 20 minutes, and then we'll be good to go. Hopefully it's good. It'll never be as good as his grandma's. Okay, you guys, of course not. Time. I just opened them. Of course it's never going to be better than Abuela's. <laughs> of course yours ain't going to ever be better than Abuela's, bitch. Huh? You and your unseasoned ways of cooking. You will never be like Abuela, okay? Ever. You need to carry your ass over there and learn how to cook instead of going to the fucking restaurant. We're going to try the berry bunnies tonight. We already had dinner. It actually came out pretty darn good. Not perfect, but good. I'll get I'll get there. No, oh, I watched another episode of Money Heist. <sighs> that show is so good. And I'm definitely picking up some new Spanish from it. So 
All right, let's give these a try. They smell very berry. They're so cute, these little bunnies. Put it back! Oh, cheers. Okay. Yep, smart sweets. You did it again. I cannot wait to try the sour ones. I'm not in a sour mood right now, but mm, these are fire. And I just saw today on Instagram, they dropped a Barbie collab, like a pink lemonade. So we would have to try those too. Tomorrow. Of course. Good morning, you guys. Yes. It's the next day. I have this tech support call on mute because I'm on hold. <laughs> I just wanted to say good morning. Um, it's the next day. I'm making a little, I made a little green smoothie. This is the best I've ever made. I've been making it almost every day. Mm. Is he back? Nope. Thank God for mute on phone calls. Oh yeah, no rush, thank you. They're still working on it, okay. So in this smoothie, we have half of a frozen banana. And then I swear, I've said this before, I use frozen fruit all the time, but I swear when I do, I just woke up by the way, so this is where we're at. When I do fresh fruit, it tastes like just a little bit better, a little bit better. And then I did about five fresh strawberries. Frozen banana is not like enough to really make it a smoothie. So I do a little bit of ice, chocolate core power protein shake, about a half of a bottle. Um, and then a little bit of peanut butter and then a big handful of spinach because you can't taste it. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely phenomenal. Definitely yeah, give it a try. So I'm just taking care of this call. It's like, you know, when you have to call for something <laughs> and it's just like, you're just, I don't know, you've just been putting it off. So I'm just taking care of this tech support thing I've needed to do for a while. So hopefully it will get taken care of because I'm always just afraid it's like, I'm always just afraid it's like not gonna get fixed. It's only been about 20 minutes, it's not that bad. I think, I think, I think we're gonna get it fixed. So this morning on the agenda, I'm gonna head to the gym. Yeah, uh, right! I'm gonna head to the grocery store. I just need to pick up like a few things that we're out of. Uh, bananas, oranges, uh, frozen fruit for smoothies because we're getting low i also need to run to the liquor store um because we're having a get together this weekend and i wanted to get a couple like bottles of stuff for gifts for people yes hello hi oh all right i just changed into my gym clothes my favorite beyond yoga workout tanks forever my fave i've got like four colors <laughs> it's pretty much all i wear to the gym at this point but i'm going to do my Skincare. I used to do it just when I get back from the gym. Skincare. Now I've just been doing it twice. Before the gym, you just gonna go ahead and do skincare. Alex, get get your shit together for real, bitch. Get it together. But I've been really loving the Eclair from La Roche Posay. My skin will probably love it for a month, <laughs> and then it won't. I just like the way it smells because it kind of smells like a pool. Not really like chlorine or anything, but it just, I don't know. It smells like vacation to me. I don't, I don't know why. I also feel like it's kind of that time of year now where transitioning from winter to spring, like my skin feels a little like, I don't know. It's like dry, but still oily. I think just the temperature change, but this moisturizer is so nice. I'll link all this again. This feels so cooling when you put it on perfect for combination oily skin because like it gives you hydration but it doesn't feel greasy it actually dries down leaves your skin very soft and smooth all right let's go do our workout and run a couple of errands ah sure who believes that this is new footage right here of her at the damn gym not me Oh yeah, we ain't listening to that either. Oh, I mean, y'all, just the amount of carbs. No! The amount of carbs that she purchases. <laughs> oh, me and my low carb diet is just like, oh man. Oh, this is why she keeps gaining weight, Lord. Cause she won't do the right thing, not even for a second. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Just wild. I mean, well, at least Bruno is eating good. A walk with the dogs is so beautiful. Had to get outside and I just rinsed the grapes that I picked up and they just look perfect. 
you know, and grapes look like just perfect. They're going to be so good. Oh, I hope they're going to be good. Did you wash that first? Okay, I'm going to eat some of these. But I actually have to edit this vlog. Wow. We are caught up on vlogs. Um, It's going to go up tomorrow. New episode of Love is Blind tonight. Who is watching the reunion? Let me know. I don't know how long this vlog was. If it's not super long, I'll make sure the next one will be longer. But thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. And I'll see you in a few days. Oh, my God. Well, the only thing I got from this um, vlog is that <laughs> your girl has become a queen of clickbait. Clickbait, you say? Indeed, clickbait. Because I know that everyone is thinking, well, not everyone, that's a stretch. A lot of people are thinking that she is pregnant now and of course she's seen the comments and watched the vlogs or the blogs and things like that so she's doing the play on words but listen she didn't clickbait me because I already knew this bitch wasn't finna say shit about no goddamn pregnancy okay but anyways I gotta go now it's Thursday at 7 14 p.m. and I am ready to go home after everyone left this afternoon or this evening, I guess, at six. I decided to go ahead and stay and react to her last two vlogs so that I can, you know, go ahead and have this up hopefully by tomorrow if it doesn't take too long for it to upload tonight. So with that being said, to all of my suburban nights, beach bumps, and city slickers. Bye.